Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. A calling prospective clients, customers, or colleagues is an essential part of any business. We also need to be available when they call us, you know, to build that trust and to make those connections. Here at Stealthywood, we use Odoo IP to connect with our people. That means happier customers, more sales, and especially more productivity, which is always a good thing. So today we're going to learn how to make, receive, transfer, and forward calls with Odoo VOIP. I'm going to be showing you how to configure everything through a provider called Axivox as an example. But your screen might look a little bit different if you're using a different provider. So, enough plus. Yeah, let's get right into it. So here I am on the main Odoo dashboard. Now to make a call, I'm going to click on the phone icon in the upper right to open the VOIP widget over here. And then from here, we're going to go into contacts. And if you wanted to, you can click on anyone here and just get started immediately. You can also use the search bar up at the top if you'd prefer to find them that way. But what if you want to manually do it? Well, just select the keyboard in the bottom left corner, and start typing in that phone number with a leading plus, and then a number representing the country code, which in my case is one for the United States. Then just click the phone icon to start that call and to end it. It's as simple as that. But what if we're in a situation where, as you can tell off camera, I'm talking about an incoming call? Well, when it starts coming in, like you just saw me input, you'll see it in the bottom left corner, and then you can either choose to pick it up or to end it. If you're on the Odoo dashboard, this is where it'll be presented. If you're in another tab, you'll still be able to hear the ring and see the calling icon. If I click on the green button, I pick it up. Red button rejects it, as you just saw. Now, being that busy man that I am, I have to keep track of all the people that I need to call on any given day. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that by opening up the CRM app. And we're going to select one of these opportunities. In fact, Paul Smith's opportunity is the perfect one. Now you notice when I hovered over it, a phone icon with a green plus sign appears right there. And if I click onto that, well, what just occurred? Well, Paul has been added to my call queue. To remove them again, I just need to hover over it and select it. And then it'll turn into a plus again. But I'm going to reselect Paul once again, just so that I can tell you something. It's because I've been telling Paul that I'm going to call him. So we're all set. He's going to stay in that queue. And I'm going to show you why, because if we go back over to VOIP, look up next activities, right there at the bottom, we see Paul Smith. I need to call him. It's that easy to build a call queue list. So nothing can slip through the cracks. Only past due and today's calls will appear in the next activities list. Alrighty, now let's talk about transferring calls. A call can be transferred from one agent to another, but only after speaking with the caller first. Without picking up that call, you can't make a transfer. You can, however, set up a forward on the Axivox portal. So right now, off camera, you're actually going to see me start typing in a phone number just so that I could call Odoo over here. And that's going to be really necessary for this to work. All right, so we have this incoming call over here, right, Odooers? Let's pick up that green button. Boom, look at that. We have new options over here. Now, after selecting the green button to pick up, I can select the icon with two arrows over here to transfer it to someone if I know their extension. For example, I happen to know Stefan's is 2787. And boom, with that, I can transfer the call to Stefan. But let's assume that I don't want to do that. What if I know that Stefan is Mia and I need a branch outside of my trusty advisors? In that case, if I exit out of here, with a call forward, I can actually forward calls to an external phone number that aren't connected to OWIP. To forward a call from here, I'm actually going to type in the external phone number. So we go back in here. And instead of an extension, now you would want to start typing in a phone number with that plus one again. And as you can tell, it's starting to autofill some of these. You can't forget that plus sign. Always remember that. So on the Axivox dashboard to automatically forward a call, you want to basically make your way to the admin portal and select users on the left hand side. Then find your name over here. And there's two tabs that you want to work with. Essentially, you go inside of forwardings, and this is where administrators can automatically forward calls to other people or groups in your network when you can't answer the phone or you're busy with something, like finding out where Stefan is. Check out my Manage Your Users video for more info on that. And that's it for this video. Thank you, Odoers. Go grab a snack.